Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Luthias, and this is the server settings for Luthias' servers, okay, for my servers. These are the rules um, for Survival Evolved and Meat Grinder, um, and I'll cover New Dawn at the end, okay? So I'll add timestamps, and then after every rule, I will tell you if the rule is the same for Survival Evolved or if it... You know, if the rule applies to survival evolved and if the rule differs for meat grinder. Now, at the beginning of this video, I just want to tell my entire community, I do not set up rules to limit your amount of enjoyment. Okay, first of all, the, I do make mistakes now and then, which you guys correct me on. And you guys know I'm always happy to be open with you. But... I've got a lot of experience with survival games. I've got a lot of experience with scum at the moment. And, you know, I look at a lot of players in drone mode. I've caught a lot of cheaters. I've seen very, very bad behavior um, from the start of scum. We all know that we struggle a heck of a lot with cheaters, okay? So there's a heck of a lot of people that are trying to crush your experience for their own benefit, Okay, unfortunately, there's a lot of selfish people in the world that will do anything to win, including cheating or trolling or using exploits or any kind of advantage they can so that they are happy and you're not. Okay, they don't care about how they get there whatsoever. And it's my job to protect you against these people. And that is the sole purpose of these rules. It is not to limit your enjoyment. It is to limit the amount of power that they have over you and then to make the game as enjoyable for you as possible. Even if you have gone down a trend that is not very healthy, if you play on my servers, um, I want to help you with that, okay? Building 50 doors in front of each other is probably going to keep your base safe, but it looks ugly, it's tedious, and it's just not fun. Okay, so the main purpose for these rules is to make it fun for you, to force you to have fun, okay? And then there's a lot of limitations that the game has, which will only be implemented later, like, for instance, base building, okay? Later, um, base parts will have different protection for different kind of damages. And then the other thing is planes are very weak at the moment and exposed, and then the biggest thing, our, our cabins that we build in our base is also a very, very weak point, okay? So we need to set up rules to safeguard the things that we enjoy because although we put a heck of a lot of work into our base, that cabin over there and the, and the airplane in and there is unfortunately something that can get destroyed very, very easily. So I'm going to have to implement rules so that we can imagine we've already got updates for it, okay, and so that we can counter those weaknesses. So, guys, I'm just going to start with the rules, and then I'm going to tell you if it applies to all servers, okay? Now, rule number one is stream sniping will be banned. I've got various systems in place. If you stream snipe for any reason except wanting to greet me, okay, you will be banned. If anyone follows you, they will be banned as well. Um. So if you play with someone, be very, very careful if the guy always knows where he's going, okay? That's a very, very dangerous sign. And yeah, I don't care if you think my stream is boring and you want to make it more fun, stream sniping is stream sniping, okay? So the only thing I'm accepting is if you want to say hello, you know, you just want to interact with me, that's fine. But you're not going to kill me on stream and you by stream sniping and you're not going to make my stream more fun create your own youtube channel and your own streams and you make them fun okay you don't have to come into my streams and make my streams more fun number two trolling will be banned and that and of course number one is for all servers number two is also for all servers trolling guys is basically just again something that people do on purpose that adds no value to the game but affects your gameplay um Sitting on top of your car when you want to drive out of a trade zone. Camping trade zones, which I've already countered with sectors, okay? Um, anything where you are doing something on purpose 
to negatively influence someone's gameplay for no real reason other than just to be a dipshit, basically, okay? Then toxic, number that's for all servers. Number three, toxicity will be banned. That includes racism, okay? This is... Uh, this is a game for adults, okay? A lot of my community is adults. But what I want you guys to realize is although we are adults, it doesn't give us the right to act like children, okay? We have to be examples for our children and for our community. We can't go on like hooligans and use the excuse, I'm an adult, okay? That just doesn't fly with me. So if you kill someone and you're playful with him, you know, like eat my dust, you got owned, whatever the case may be in the moment, it's fine. You are not going to discriminate against that, against anyone's character, okay? You are not going to bring him down. You are not going to bully him. Um, you're not going to tell him that he's shit and you're great, okay? Any form of tox toxicity that I deem toxic will be banned. And of course, racism and all those other things are, of course, banned as well. Okay, that's for all servers. Point number four, camping a base without the ability to raid that base will be banned as well. Okay, again, it's not realistic, but again, there are too many people that just want to sit in front of your base and keep killing you and because they've got a problem with you or because you didn't say yes, sir, no, sir, when they spoke to you or you maybe laughed at them because, you know, you find you think they're funny and they think they they don't think they're funny there's many reasons to camp a person's base but i'm not allowing it okay you do not camp people's base without the ability to raid them that counts for all servers um number five landmines are not allowed outside of your base um area flag zone or any road whether the road is in your flag zone or not so i'm going to allow you guys to build bases near roads there's a lot of cabins that are near roads and I just felt that it, it didn't it didn't add to your fun, you know, when you can't use a cabin that's next to a road because your flag zone is going over the road. So you can place a, a base, you know, over a, um, over a road or over a gravel road or whatever the case would be. The only rule to that is you cannot block the road and you cannot trap the road. Okay, so if a person drives past you because your base is next to the road and you're owning that sector, you can shoot at the guy, you can do whatever you want, but you cannot trap the road and you cannot block the road. Okay, that's all. That counts for all servers. Um, then you may not build a base within 1,000 meters of all bunkers and traders and then 300 meters of every sit, any city or point of interest. And I'm just going to overlay a map now for you. It is in the Discord as well. I'm going to overlay a map to show you um, the zones that Warmon created for me on the map. You cannot build a base in those red zones, okay? Um, if you really, really want to push the edge, you're like, Luthias, I don't have any visibility over this place, uh, I th you know, I don't have a, I don't think there's a problem with me building the base here, and you can give me a good reason for building your base there instead of just saying, you know, I want to be able to shoot people when they come out of a town or whatever the case. If you give me a good reason, guys, I will allow you to build a base in a red zone, but you cannot have clear vision of the point of interest so that you can kill people from your roof, okay, and. You must be quite limited with the negative effect effect you can have on people just looting normally. Um, and yeah, that counts for all servers. You may not damage base wall with crossbows or arrows. Okay, so again, it's not in the game yet, but later when modular base building comes out, then every surface is only going to be, you're only going to be able to damage certain surfaces with certain kinds of weapons. Okay. So for now, if I see you shooting a wall with a crossbow, you're gone. Okay, it's not realistic. And you can, you, a guy could just use one arrow. Okay, it's trolling. It's not a, it's not a, it's just, it's just bad. So if you raid a, if you raid a base with a wooden wall, you can use like a shotgun or something like that. Um, if he's got a metal wall, you're going to have to use explosives or C4. Okay, or guns or an M82. Okay, you can use an M82 and everything, just not crossbow bolts, guys. 
Okay, and that applies for that applies for all servers, but of course on meat grinder you can't be raided, so that we can focus on the challenges. Um, sand blocks are not allowed for any reason at all. There's just too many exploits with sand blocks, guys. So if I see a sand block, okay, you're in deep, deep trouble. Um, number nine is, and that counts for all servers. Number nine is you cannot use foundations or blockers to access your base after the first two weeks after a server wipe. Again, on meat grinder, you can't be raided, so everyone's fine there, okay? Um, but on meat grinder, you've, you're only safe for the first two weeks. So after the, after the, the trial period, the safety period on meat, on SE is done, then you cannot block entrance to your base with foundations or you know foundations or blockers or anything your loot must be accessible through lock picking and c4 both okay so the person must be able to get to your loot with just lock picking or just c4 but both okay so you guys know i understand what i'm saying you mu your loot must be accessible through lockpicking and C4, not one or the other, okay? And I've put in a lot of measurements to safeguard you guys against this. So, you know, a lot of people won't like this, but what I did is after the two-week period where you can't get raided anymore, your zappers will do 3.5 times damage, okay? So you must imagine like you've got more protection on your zappers, Okay, and of course the other thing is um, that you can't, that your doors must be two meters apart. Okay, so what I mean by that is this door must be two meters apart from that door, so that parts don't clip through each other. Okay, these barbed wire elements can clip through each other. I've got no problem with that. If you open this door the other way, it's gonna clip. It's gonna clip through that door, but that's fine. Okay, that looks nice and neat. That looks quite cool. So. Your doors needs to be two meters apart, but I'm giving you three and a half protection and three and a half protection on the zappers, okay? So it's as if you've got seven doors here, but I'm helping you so that you don't build doors on top of doors, okay? You can get around your base nicely and you can build something that you're proud of, guys. You know, you can just build something that looks good instead of just trying everything in your power, okay? Not to get raided. And then the other caveat about airplanes, like I wanted to remove airplanes from Survival Evolved. But again, I thought to myself, I'm not going to let the, the dipshits, as I call them, destroy my community's fun. Okay, that's why I included planes, but you cannot drop into a base using a plane. Okay, if I see you in a base or I see you've raided a base and... Um, there's no way you could have gotten in there except falling in there, then I'm going to ban you, okay? So what you can use this plane for is basically just exploring the map, um, flying over a base to see the base's layout, okay? So you can plan a raid, and then you can drop into a fight, or you can drop into a cargo drop, or you can give people lifts, okay, as a, as a taxi service or something like that. You can do anything with this plane. You can't, you just cannot use the plane to drop into a base, okay? And I don't want people to bury, to hide the planes all over the map in bushes. I understand why they do that, because I can just throw a few grenades over this wall, and the plane is gone. The fl planes are very um, flimsy. So what I want you to imagine is that this is a this is a hangar, okay? The, the, the game is not giving us the ability to build a roof over this hangar, but on my servers, this is a hangar. You cannot touch the plane unless you lockpick all the doors or you blow through the walls. Okay, so I want people to start using the base elements that Scum has given us and put their, put their planes inside their base, okay? Drive their planes into their base and have fun with it, okay? No one can touch your plane. If you've closed it up, no one can touch your plane unless they lockpick in there. Then they can do whatever they want. If I lockpick this door and I'm now at the plane, I can destroy it, I can lockpick it, I can fly it away, I can do whatever I want, or if I blow through the walls as well, as soon as I get to the plane, 
I can do what I want. I cannot, I'm not allowed to throw stuff over the wall to destroy the plane, okay? And I cannot fly with my plane and shoot this plane, okay? So just imagine this is a hangar. Again, we are implementing rules to make it more fun for ourselves, okay? Okay, so um, that applies for all servers. No base parts can clip except for the barbed wire elements on top. Okay, you must have a two meter gap between your walls. That's rule 11, also all servers. Rule number 12 is you must be raidable by lock picking and C4 after the two week period on Survival Evolved and you can't get raided on Meat Grinder. Rule number 13, you may not use any graphical settings outside of the in-game options to see through things or sound that can hear players further away than 50 meters as designed by SCUM. So guys, there are the uh, graphical options here. That's what you can use, okay? I am not going to accept if you shoot someone through something that I know you can't see through by telling me, no, I changed the graphical I and I settings, okay? Then you must go play on another server. I'm not going to accept it when you just you know, spin one way and headshot someone or kill someone, and I don't have a clue how the hell you knew that they were there, I'm not going to accept the excuse, hey, I could hear them, okay? I have tested the sound on various, um, various sounds, you know, various computers, and the game basically intentionally makes it that you can't hear a player further away than 50 meters, okay? It's not like in exact science, but again, if, if I feel... I don't know how the heck you, you saw that person. I'm going to investigate it. If I don't need to talk to you, I'm going to ban you immediately. And if I talk to you and you give me any excuse about something that you changed that's not meant to be changed, you're gone. Okay? Um, now, number 14, again, all servers. Any sign of cheating will be banned, okay? I don't need proof that you're cheating. Any sign of cheating um, will get you banned. So... Be very, very, very careful. Um, number rule 15, you cannot drop into a base using a plane. I already explained you guys the reasons why. Number 16, alliances are not allowed. Only one clan can raid a base and one, without any assistance, and one clan can defend a base without any assistance. Again, guys, just like I'm trying to counter um, base camping, do not, you know, do not sit at a base that you cannot raid, okay? Stay away from the base. And guys, if you don't want people to get close to your bases, you know, um, put put traps on the, you know, put traps over your blueprint that can't hurt them, that can just warn them that they're in a dangerous area, you know, like um, flare traps or um, whatever, okay? You just can't hurt them outside your flag area. Okay, all the traps that hurt them must be inside your flag area. But you can put signs up, landmines, head, stay away, you know, whatever the case would be, on the edge of your flag zone so that they don't enter it. But again, guys, if you hear a raid, you know, don't go, don't go to it, okay? Um, it's not a rule. I want you guys to have as much freedom as possible, but you understand why I don't want you to counter raid. Because if you counter raid, there's no way for me to know whether you were helping the raiders or the base defenders. And then there's just going to be big arguments and everyone's just going to be unhappy. Okay? So let's help each other with that. That applies on um, all servers. And of course, on Meat Grinder, there are no clans. Um, so, you know, doesn't really matter. And then rule 17, you may not revive a player just to kill them again with Phoenix Tears. Again, I see it as trolling. So if anyone tells me, hey, this dude killed me and he revived me with Phoenix Tears and killed me again just to farm my fame, you're going to be in big trouble, okay? Number 18, you may not use any current or future exploits like duping, clipping through walls, exploiting the buying and selling prices of the traders, um, or anything I deem as an exploit, okay? Play fair or not here at all. I don't think I have to explain that one. Rule 19, you may not place any non-movable blueprints, blueprints in trader zones or save zones. Any movable items left in those zones for more than two hours will disappear, okay? So my save zones, my save zones on SE and the trade zones have got the no vehicle parking, so, 
your vehicle is going to disappear. And if I see anything buried in those zones, I will destroy it. I don't care if you've got 2 million bucks saved up there over a 10-year period. I'm going to delete it. Okay? And give you a warning. Number 20, if you have agreed to a trade, you will honor it. No BS. Again, if you agree to a trade with someone else, you honor that trade. Okay? You do not say you want to trade with someone and then... There's a lot of gullible people out there, meet them outside the trade zone and kill them and take their car or meet them in the trade zone and then he drops his items first and you take his items, you're like, ah, again, that's trolling, okay? You'll be banned with that. And then, yeah, before we go on, unfortunately, guys, I don't want one clan to raid everyone on a server. And, I, you know, the only way a clan can do that is, the, if, if, is if they buy and um, everyone's key cards. So what I'm going to do every one to three days minimum, I'm going to announce it on Discord and I'm going to announce it in game that I'll be waiting at the top of the bar in the trader zone to buy your key cards from you for $10,000. Okay? Um, so yeah. You know, stop selling your key cards. Help the rest of the community. Who knows, maybe you're going to get raided with those parts that they're going to find in the in the, in the the kill box. But like I said, I wanted to make it sellable at the traders. I can't. I did send a message to the devs seeing if they can maybe change that. But for now, I'll personally sell it to you guys once every one to three days. Okay? Then no alt accounts are allowed. Again, alt accounts can be used to get multiple key cards. Alt accounts can be used to raid you with 20 alt accounts, okay? Even if you kill the one guy, he just logs in with his other character, you know, and you're actually fighting 30 people instead of six people. Um, so is there a few people that are using the alt accounts for nothing, nothing funny? Yes, but again, to protect the majority of the server, okay, I'm not going to allow alt accounts. And then um, me and my community spoke about it, okay? Every cheater that I've banned so far has had a VAC ban or something within the last five years, okay? So guys, again, there's a lot of servers that you can go and play on. And I understand it's not the best for you, okay? You might not like it because one out of 100 people might have been banned for no good reason. But I have to protect my community against everyone that is willing to cheat, okay? And a VAC ban or game ban is the biggest indicator that you're toxic or that you're cheating, okay? Or you're, that you're just not good for a community. So any, any VAC bans or game bans with the last five years, okay? You're not allowed to play on any of the servers. Um, any abandoned bases will be destroyed, okay? Um, so if we see a base with no lockers in it, or, you know, um, no storage units in it anymore because they've despawned and the walls are at about 20%. If we deem the base abandoned, we're going to destroy it, okay, to keep to keep performance high. And then no more than one, the, the rule 23, no more than one flag can be owned by a player. Flag blueprints can be used to limit other players from building a base close to you up to two blueprint lengths. If you mark a location with the flag blueprint, please remove it when you're done, for example, for your vehicle or any loot that you don't want to lose, because those blueprints affect the server in a very negative way. And what I mean by two blueprint lengths, that's your base. Your base has got a blueprint a line, okay, and then you can put another flag and another flag so that someone can't build a base extremely close to you, okay? You can put a flag... You. It doesn't help you just putting down the um, the blueprint. I think, or you guys can correct me in the comments, um, but I think with just a blueprint, nobody can build here, or a flag. It doesn't really matter, but you can use two flag lengths, okay, so that nobody builds a base right next to your base. But no more than two, two blueprints, because that's going to be insane. And then, yeah, guys, a lot of people have told me, I don't know why we can't drop into bases because people say you just put traps all over the floor and all over the roof and all over everywhere and then people can't drop into the base. You know, people tell me those guys are stupid for being raided like that and anything and everything. Usually when a, when a person insults you like that, like you're dumb for being raided or it was your fault or whatever the case would be, 
they are usually the ones that want to use those tactics against you. Okay, but luckily you guys have got me that dissects every game in every single aspect. So, although I, again, I'm not going to allow you to build 50 doors in front of one another. I'm going to help you to build beautiful bases because I'm going to give you insane zapper, zapper protection and people can't buy gloves at the traders and people can't buy screwdrivers at the traders. Okay, so it's a lot harder to lockpick now, even for experienced lockpicker. Okay, it's hard. Um, and let's say you've got you built fifty thousand um, spike traps, you know, so that a person can't land in here. I'm gonna come and stand outside your door because I'm an experienced player that made you feel stupid for being raided. And then these traps, they say these traps, you can just put a million of these down to protect your base. Okay, those are what the clever people say. Whoops, what happened? That's funny. So yes, guys, please don't listen to the haters. You know, please don't listen to people that tell you rules are absolutely ridiculous, stupid. It's people that want to take advantage of those rules. So they can just throw grenades over the wall, make a gap, then fly over with their friend that's got nothing on them. The guy drops down with one axe, destroys all the traps, okay? Walks into any senses or mines there is, dies, you know, spawns. His friend with his plane comes and picks him up, drops him. So his friend just keeps on dropping him off in the base until this guy with no loot and, you know, a ton of fame can... And, you know, he can clear the entire place. And he's like, okay, everything's clear. I'm just going to escape and suicide now because I feel the entire place is clear. Now he drops in with the C4, okay? And all this work that you've done, your cars, your fires, okay? Your living spot, all your loot, okay? All the work. This is your. This is our pride and joy, guys. The This cabin is our pride and joy, Okay? That's where we live most of the time if we don't live in a, in a solid asset, okay? But not everyone can live in solid assets. But this is what we value the most, but unfortunately, this is the weakest. And that's why I don't allow any people to drop into a base because all they're going to do is they're going to put the C4 down, okay? And they're going to arm the trap. And then they're going to run away. your entire they're going to destroy your entire cabin okay there's a single player and there's some kind of problem where i can't where i can't destroy the um the cabin okay but one cabin destroys the door and and this and this okay so it's going to look like this one c4 is going to look like this Trust me, guys, just because I'm building on the airport and I'm in single player. Okay, single player has been very buggy lately. But trust me, I've seen I've seen this happen like 20 times on my servers. Okay, one C4 destroys your cam. Okay, so that's what's left of your base, of all your hard work. Okay, everything is gone. Everything that was beautiful was gone. This is hanging in the air. Okay, so now they can just jump on here. And they can go destroy, okay, with their sledgehammers. And they leave you with nothing. So it's not only your pride and joy, nothing, okay? They dropped in you with one C4, and they destroyed all your work and all your loot. And then they just log out, okay? If they're lucky enough to get to your flag, then they just take your whole base, and it's theirs forever. Okay, so be very careful to protect your flag, as best you can and never ever in your life put your flag inside the cabin because the cabin is weak so we're protecting the plane by imagining it's in a hangar when you've closed it up and we we we're protecting our base as if it's not the weakest thing in your you know in your entire base i don't know why they never gave us the ability to upgrade the foundations and the cabin Okay, but like like I said, we are getting a revamp system, which is hopefully going to solve all these problems. But it's people like this that I want to protect you against. Okay? And then, yeah. 
that those are all the rules for now okay so 30 minutes is how long it took me to explain all the rules if you've got guys have got any questions leave it in the comments down below or in discord and now i'm just going to discuss the survival evolved um and meat grinder restrictions okay so you may only use a plane to travel scan a base layout or drop into a fight or cargo drop you can never drop into a base or roof of a building that is being used as a base so even if the guy is taken over a house and just locked up the doors and put a wall around it you cannot drop onto the roof to get on to get onto his balcony and have easy access to his to his base okay counts both ways um you can build a base you know in your over a road you so you can build a base over a road but you cannot block the road or trap the road at all okay as i said only one vehicle type per player is allowed okay um and six of any type per clan is allowed so a solo player can own one car or bike one boat or plane a duo squad can own two cars or bikes and one boat and one plane the reason for this is guys maybe the solo player wants to live on an island okay then he needs a car and a boat or maybe you know maybe he wants to fly to his island then he needs a plane and a car okay so just giving just giving people freedom and a solo player must have the ability to scan a base layout just like a clan is allowed to scan a base layout and a solo player must have the ability to go fish, you know, if he wants to fish. But it's the clan's decision. They can have one vehicle each, okay? One vehicle each means one vehicle that levels up driving, one vehicle that levels up motorcycling, okay? And they can have one boat or one plane. You can't have a boat and a plane. That's not allowed. And then clans from three to six can basically have six of any of anything, Okay, and again, there is no clans on meat grinder, so you can you are limited to one of any vehicle on meat grinder. The big thing about meat grinder is there's no the the vehicles are very limited. Okay, so I'm not going to allow you to have more than one vehicle. Very very important. No more than one vehicle. Okay, on um, on meat grinder. Okay, and then. You may not lock up more than one asset in a town. Yeah, guys, like um, you may not lock up one, more than one of anything in a town, a room, uh, a house, a garage, or whatever the case would be, because clans can abuse that and lock up everything and then you can't access anything. On meat grinder is very important because there is very little loot. And if you lock up something, I want you to lock it up for a reason to protect something. You're not going to lock it up just to... Make it difficult for other players, okay? Again, there must be a reason for it. And then again, Meat Grinder has got protection. Your base elements can't be can't be hurt, okay? And the zapper is going to kill anyone with, with one zap, okay? And then the meat, especially because the Meat Grinder challenges are so difficult, I needed to implement that. So... Yeah, at the end of the day, you can still get killed. Your star, a car can still get stolen on meat grinder, okay? If a player kills you, it doesn't count towards your challenge. So if you're trying to complete the challenge with one life and receive the Mad Max trophy, just tell me the bots are running on meat grinder and SE as, as we speak. And I'll, I'll, you know, I'm going to ask those to put up a kill feed on meat grinder as well. So when you get killed by a player on meat grinder, just let me know you've got you got killed because you're taking the challenge seriously, and then I'll deduct that kill. So the meat grinder challenge basically only gets cancelled when you get killed by something else than a player. Okay, a meg, a puppet, falling, or whatever the case may be. And then that's it for the for SE and the meat grinder. Again, if you've got any um questions guys just leave it down in the comments below and then just a quick run through on new dawn the rules and restrictions okay number one no trolling number two no to toxicity number three no blocking players in trade zones or cargo drops okay because you can't kill players i don't want people again if you're trying to um break the experience of someone just just to be funny okay i'm gonna ban you so you can't block players on on new dawn because they can't kill you 
First person to open the cargo drop door claims it. Okay, I'm just going to explain this very quickly, guys. The first person that gets to a cargo drop and is able to lockpick all six, that is a caveat. You have to be able to lockpick all six lockers. So the first person to get there that can lockpick all six lockers, it's his. Okay? No one can go and stand next to him and, you know, as soon as he open, and as soon as he unlocks the locker, take his loot out or troll him. Again, it comes down to trolling. But <clears throat> with the with the cargo drop, the first one who opens that door claims the claims the drop okay unless they are not able to open all the doors then they have to give it to someone else and of course if you get to a drop and no one's been there then you can wait 25 seconds let's say you can't open the cargo drop then you can wait the 25 seconds okay to loot the cargo drop very important and then five only one vehicle of any kind per person five max per clan if you're solo you're allowed one land vehicle plus one boat or plane Okay, it's basically the same if you're solo, but because the max clan size on um, New Dawn is 10, okay, stick stick to one vehicle per person, guys. You know, like you guys can have a clan of 10, you know, so let's not go ape, you know. I don't even know what a base looks like with 10 vehicles in, but let's not go ape. So only five vehicles per clan, okay, and one vehicle per person. And if you're solo, again, you can have a vehicle and a boat or a plane. One flag blueprint or flag per player. Okay, there's no rating on the server, so only one flag per player. You have full freedom to make trader zones helpful with fires. So on Meat Grinder and SE, I don't want anything in the trade zones, no helpfulness. But on New Dawn, you guys can decorate the trader zones as you want with music and fires and, you know, all the help that you want to give people. You are just <coughs> not going to block the roads or make it negative for people. But you can add anything to the trader zones to make it fun for people. Okay? You may not do events. If you want to PvP, join SC or Meat Grinder now and then. Or play two or on all three servers. Yes, guys. Remember, New Dawn is for PvE, for the PvE community only. Okay? So no events are allowed. And if you want to kill someone, you can play on both. Okay? You can play on both servers. You can come and do events on SC. Okay? And you can have a hardcore experience on Meat Grinder. So I'm giving you all the choices. Please use them. And that's it, guys. The only challenge that has been changed on the Meat Grinder challenges is the first one. So you don't have to create a character with eight triple five attributes anymore. Um, you have to create a character with eight double five three. So I'm not forcing you to start with a character with five intelligence. And I'll make sure those challenges get um, added to the Discord. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Um, I hope you guys understand what I said in the beginning, that I just want you guys to have fun and that I'm thinking about you, okay? You guys clearly know a person like me doesn't need any rules. But we have to protect ourselves against people that try and, you know, take every inch and only think about themselves. And we all know this community is positive, okay? So any negative um, people that want to break us down, we're just going to flick them out of the community because we're strong, we're positive and motivational and loving, okay? Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Again, any questions or any suggestions, leave it down in the comments below and then in the Discord as well. Okay, that we can talk about it. Have a great day, guys. Cheers. Fly like an eagle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. What's up?